Hello. Happy to see everybody here. Hello, Diane57, Robin, Helene, Niku, Kathy, Anna, Angie, Tina, Georgia, Claire, Becky, Judy, Beverly, and all the ones who don't talk. I see you there too. Well, actually, I don't see you, see you, but you know, you know I mean. your number's there. I see the number. I do. Happy you're here. <laughs> uh, you didn't miss anything. We just started. Hello, Audrey. <laughs> you like uh, your uh, inspiration for the washing machine quilt there, Audrey? <laughs> Red, blue, and green, they're calling it the washing machine. Yeah, hello, Sonia. Hello, Kathy. Hello, Gwynny. Hello, Lee. <laughs> hello, hello. Thank you. It's looking really good. I added the two. Remember, because I, I thought eight didn't really look big enough, so I added two more. So now we got 10. So I got 50 up on the board. I have 19 here and I need to make sure I have another 50 to make sure I'm doing this uh, so it's 100 squares, right? Uh, so obviously I have some more to make. So that's what we will be doing today is making those last few squares and uh, hopefully making fast work out of it. <laughs> it I love it. I love I thought the idea was kind of cool and I like having a little rhyme for a quilt. So it, it worked for me. It worked for me. So <laughs> hello, 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 Wanda, hello, Pat, hello, Eileen, hello, Rayleigh, Rayla, Rayla, P. I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> hello, Becky. They do, they, I, it's a little funky with the angle cuts, but I like it. I like it. I, you know, you gotta try something new, or you don't know what you like and what you don't like. So. <laughs> Oh, I love it. I absolutely love it. And I think my eldest sister, Lisa, is going to love it, too. <laughs> I hope so, anyways. Her and her, her, and her uh, husband, Larry. So, anyways, so I said, I think I got 50 on the board. I think I just wanted to double check how many I had here so I can know exactly how many more I have to make. Because it's pretty much half and half. Because I'm going to get uh, two... Two blues out of one of these because one half is one half and one half another. So, and when I cut a green, I'm also going to get two out of it. So, I have to think of that math wise how many more I actually have to make. So, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. So I only have 18 there. Okay, so I need, let's make sure I have my math correct today. And it is 32. <laughs> not like the last time when I was trying to do the green braid quilt. As math was not my specialty that day, I failed both big time on the math. <laughs> uh, uh, what? Oh, is, the, the chat screen is okay? Uh, Aw, oh, thank you, Kathy. I appreciate that very much. Hello from Limerick, Ireland. Is that Shitoto? Shitoto? Is that how you say? Shitato? I don't want to say it wrong. Hello, Carol and Sammy D. Hello, Barbara. Happy everybody's here. Having a great time. So, like I said, 32, right? 32 more blocks I need to make. So what's half of 32 is 16. So I need to make 16 blue and 16 green. Am I right there? Doo -doo. I had a very interesting week. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it had its ups and its downs. <laughs> yes, Tina? Okay. All right, Beverly. And Tina, I'm going with you guys here. <laughs> and of course, in my exuberance, I ended up cutting a few more on the wrong angle when I know what I was trying to do is go from one side to the next. So that's my mistake. So this may actually just be a whole other quilt by the time I figure out my what not to do and what to do for this quilt. So that could be interesting. Oh, hold on. I want to take, turn my phone down off. I don't want to, uh, I didn't turn it off to vibrate. Pop would be mad. So there we go. <laughs> okay, now, Let's pull some of these guys here. I've already had a bunch pre-cut. Let's take some of these ones that I didn't, I, I was gonna cut and I may need to cut if I need to cut some. So 
32, 16 blue, and 16 green. Okay, we got this. We got this. A couple other ones here. Do, do, do. All right, we got lots. We got. I think we can. We can do that with pretty much what we got going on here. So we know we only need to make that many left. Let's empty the taco hat, and uh, and go from there. Okay. Do, do, do. Let's mix these babies up. Let's mix these babies up. Oh, have a little cup in here. What you doing in there? All right. Pick up some of these greens. Some of these blues. So 16 each, right? So oh, there's that is not going to make nothing. Holy moly! Right over there. Do, do, do. No, you're not me. Hello, Nadine. Hello, Rowena. Hello, hello, hello. Okay, all right. So let's make some more. Poor Pop. He's got massive allergies this time of the year, and I feel so bad for him. He has a hard time breathing. Anybody else like the same way? I think it's all the, it's the ragweed, it's the, what, the golden rod, is that it too? The, the, with the little yellow flowery top thingy majiggy? Oh my goodness. That pollinates everywhere. Okay. All right, Ooh. Um, Disappearing nine patch? Yeah, I did it as a baby quilt. It wasn't too long ago actually. Because I gave it to the couple that just had a baby where I cross guard at. Uh, well, no, actually, where I, you know what I mean. The house that is really next to the crosswalk that I work at when it comes to cross and guard time. Um, they had a baby, so, and I made it for them. It is out there. Okay, so let's do the greens first. So let's focus on that shiny object and everything. Mm. Hello, Becky. Hello, Heather. Hello, Jennifer. Happy you're here. It's a beautiful day out today. Went for breakfast with my girlfriend, Sandra, and her father. Actually, the, the gentleman that I made the uh, Switzerland stitch out on the long run, the Schaffenhausen one with the little boat and the buildings in the background and stuff like that. Yeah, when he was there, too. And, uh, there, and so of course, Sandra's little munchkin. So, yeah. And, and Pop and I all went out for breakfast. It was a good breakfast. And of course the company was the best. Doo -doo -doo. I kind of find a place that actually does half decent hash browns. Because so far, we, and, we, and Sandra and I go for breakfast quite a bit on a Sunday. And we'll ride, we'll ride too, and we'll ride our bikes and stuff. Um, and uh, it's it's one that really isn't too far away, so I don't mind riding to it. But uh, it's it's like jeepers creepers. Why can't people actually master hash browns for breakfast? I like them crispy. You know, soft on the inside, crispy on the outside. You know, the way they're supposed to be. Mm-hmm. Mm. But up and thanks again. A couple more weeks, and it'll be all good. What are we talking about? Oh yeah, it it just has to pass. Trust me, I would I would if I could take even just the smallest amount of you know anxiety not anxiety but you know the the stress of having these allergies and the sneezing and it, itself. Uh, I I would I just to help him out a little bit like jeepers. It is it is nuts. I'm like, how do you not explode with all those sneezes? Like seriously, <laughs> I would, I would. If I, if I had to, if I sneezed as many times as Pop did, I'd explode. There'd be bits of Laurelin everywhere. And nobody needs to be traumatized that way. Oh, well that's too big. Who put that in the pile? <laughs> All right, that's kind of a bit of a fold. Up. We tried to have the uh, iron camera on. It's the, hiding in the corner there, uh, but um, it, it, it failed. I'm not sure what happened. Maybe it probably got beat up underneath the long arm. And, but uh, so, oh well. <laughs> Things happen. All right, there we go. That, that, that's had a bit of a fold onto it. And I can't sew it if it still has a fold. Yeah, like, no kidding. I would have been up half the night just wishing him God bless. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, what do we got? One block done. And we can put those two together and those two together. Okay, so that makes three. I don't want to get anything too matchy matchy crazy like, so let's, uh, we'll work them fast, but not too crazy. All right, let's put these two together. Uh. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, this, I got the little alfalfa all the time. My hair is rebellious. It, it does what it wants to do. So there's that one and that one. Build the green ones out first and then we will build out the blue. So that's two, this makes three. Uh, actually, let's do this one, this one. I wish I could hide behind the screen. <laughs> Be the mystery thing for, uh, guy from uh, The Wizard of Oz. Pay no attention to the man behind the curtain. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can hide. Indeed, indeed. So that one's done. So that makes the three. And this would be four. Let's get some more on the go here. Four. This will be make five. Well, five and a four and a bit. Maybe we add two more. And that'll make five. I think I forgot to load a bob, and so I'll have to do that too. Okay, this will be. Come on. Do, do, do. Hello, Pat. How are you? Are you home from your RVing? Uh, Pat and I, Pat Bell, she just popped in the chat, uh, took a long arm course over a year ago with Sue Patton at the um, at Toronto International Center. And uh, we had a great time. It was, actually, it was also Quilt Canada too. And uh, that's when I got to deliver a lot of those quilts that I did for the Ronald McDonald house. It was fantastic to deliver a whole big, huge suitcase full. Um, actually, Pat saw it. Actually, no, she didn't see it because she was already gone that day. But uh, I had a really big, huge green suitcase. <laughs> And some of the ladies were um, saying that I was well prepared. <laughs> no, it was here in Toronto. It was here in Toronto. Toronto last year. When was it, June? It was June, wasn't it? I'm sure it was. I'm sure it was June. Because I think I remember, remember missing two days of crossing guard, I think. I think that's what it was. Mm-hmm. Do, 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 hold on, cut there, cut there, put these two together. Da, da, da. Yeah, that was uh, new last week. Pop wanted to try something new, so now you get the side view. And you can see how I, and I just put my regular foot on today because I was doing all sorts of bibbity bobs, uh, sewing things around, so I just put my regular foot on and uh, regular plate. But you can tell I'm running out of bibbity bobbin. Sounding really, really light. <laughs> All right, now there's some more greeny bits. I need some more greeny bits. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness. <laughs> what are you trying to do to yourself? Oh my goodness. Safety first, second and third. Mm -hmm. 
Yikes, I hope you're okay. Like seriously, I hope you're okay. Uh, oh, poor Beverly. I know, it's horrible having allergies, isn't it? It really is horrible. You know, Munchkin's the same way. You know, not, not as bad as Pop though, that's for sure. Okay, so that was three. So here's four and five. And of course, we're gonna press these. We'll press these out as, as we're, we're getting along there. So, and this will be six. Two, two. I'm loving some of these colors coming together. I think it looks really pretty, when, especially when you have the, a whole big color collage. And the fact, you know, I, you know, you don't have to keep them separate like I did with the blues and the greens. If you, if you want to know what it looks like, what did I do with the other ones here? Oh, if you mix and match here, there we go. Show it to the small camera here. That's what's going to look like. And then if you cut it on the other way too, okay? So you could, I, I kind of liked it, but it really wasn't what I was going for. You know what I mean? Because of course there was a blue, a green, a blue and a green, and then cut on the angle and then you match them up and you get this little funky corner here, or square here and then here and here and here, which I like. I think it's cute and adorable, but it really wasn't what I was trying to, I had pictured in my mind, uh, you know, so that's why I chose to do, you know, this way, right? And I know there was a rhyme or a reason. <laughs> I, I liked it. I, I thought it looked really pretty that way, this way, so. Yeah, we are a tough breed. We are, we are. Uh, there we go. So what's that? That was, uh, that was wait, one, two, three, four, five. I think that's six. That would be sevens in the middle there. There we go. Seven. That can be eight. This can be the start of nine. We get there. Only a few more to go. And unfortunately, nobody went to the post office while I was away all week. So uh, I don't know if there was any mail since Tuesday morning, which there would have only been Monday's mail, and I would, we already got Monday's mail. So sorry. We will get it on Monday. And, uh, and sorry for the delay. Do, do, do. Favorite colors? What, blue and green? Or what are we talking about here? <laughs> no, I, it's a pop wouldn't have made it home to check the mail anyways, because it closes at five, so. It's not his fault at all. We have a cellar dweller that's his task to go check the mail. Put this one together. Hair was bothering my forehead. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, teals! Yeah, I bet. I bet teals are lovely. I, te teals and purples and uh, turquoises and aquas and stuff like that are pretty. All right, so here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we're halfway there. We're halfway there. Okay, so eight. We may have to cut a few more greens. It looks like I might be running out a few, so I don't really want to, you know, go right to the end without having enough, right? So let me just, I have a couple of more brights I can chop up. And I've got another one here. Do, do, do. There was another here. Here we go. Uh, what was that? The two here. This one and this one. Because we've had these colors before. Is that going to do one? I don't think so. No, that wasn't wide enough. Do do do. Could do some checkered for sure. Let's make a f four of them. Just make a few, just to make sure we have that little mixy matchy bits. Da -da -da. Just cut a few more greens here. 
We may have to do that for the blue. I just want to make sure we're good to go on the uh, mountain uh, so it has that scrappy feel. Okay. And there. So six, seven, eight and a half. There's that's in the pile. Could probably get two out of here, maybe. No, nope, just one. It's all right. One more than we had before. One more than we had before. How's everybody weekend been? It's been all right. Had some nice weather. Actually, we had some thunderstorms yesterday and we were expected some more this afternoon, but it does look like nice and sunny out. So it's kind of like, well, maybe not. Maybe not so no thunderstorm. <laughs> Actually, week on Tuesday. A week on Tuesday. Wheels on the bus. Yes, they do. Yep, yep, yep. Actually, and I have a little buddy for the first uh, two weeks of school. A little buddy after, after school, hanging out with me for a couple of hours. So I'm excited about that. We get along. We're good buds. I mean, the kid loves ice cream. I mean, seriously, we can't go wrong anywhere on that department <laughs> at all. Actually, it was, uh, I was visiting some friends up in um, northern Ontario, not quite northern northern, but, you know, North Bay and Sudbury, right in between there. And, um, and they go back the Wednesday after, like a week Wednesday. And I thought, that was kind of weird. Why? But that's when they go. I don't know. I don't know. I thought I was a little crazy myself. Okay, so that's the half, and then we got six, seven, and eight. Ooh, just, just barely. All right, so that's another few. We might be okay. I just wanted to make sure we had that little extra mix and matchy and difference and some shades. It just seemed to have a few darkies and not enough lights. Okay, so let's put that in there, here, and I already did that. Let's see if there's any other greens in here. That's really, really light. That's the bright green. Oh, there's that one. There we go. We can cut a few more out of this too. There we go. Then we'll be all right. Do do. I love orange, it goes with, it does actually, and that's what I kind of found out with the orange and yellow quilt that I did up in representation of my nieces. Uh, all five of them, each one of them having a uh, orange and yellow Dresden flower to represent them. Um, Cause I put their little initial right in the center. And uh, yeah, I really, I really liked how orange can really go with quite a bit. You know what I mean? So five, six, seven, eight. I feel like I should be doing a dance off. Five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I'd fail miserably. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, sidewalk so the kids are not walking next to the, yeah, no kidding. Well, okay, bye Beverly. See ya. <laughs> Have yourself a good supper. What are you having? Let us know what you're having first before you go. <laughs> oh, not yet. Oh, okay. Well, we tried to make it. We actually took a poll on uh, when would be the best time for the majority of people to live stream. Well, of course, everybody can watch it uh, replay afterwards, but you don't get a chance to um, participate live. The ones who like to chat. So, uh, but uh, yeah, 3 p.m. seemed to be it. Chicken strips, potatoes, carrots, and peas. Oh, all right. We're having cooked chicken uh, with in a pita. Well, like we're making chicken Caesar salad and then we'll put it in a pita. That's what we're having. 
That's what we're having. I'm looking forward to it, actually. You know, sometimes when you just get a craving, and I've been having a craving for chicken Caesar. Uh, Spring Hill area, but Wilmington is beautiful. Wilmington, is that Delaware or Springfield? Where, 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 where? Da -da -da, Wilmington. Uh, Clinton County, where's that? <sighs> you slow down or stop at the stop sign or red light, it wanted to die, so. <laughs> that's a that's a high maintenance car. <laughs> For sure. Okay, so we were at eight, right? So this would be nine. Okay. Once we get it all built out, we'll see what it's gonna be size-wise, and I may have to add a little bit of a border. I want it to be a spare size. I don't want them, to, you know, not to use it. I want them to be able to, to use it, um, you know, either on their bed or at least on the couch or something, you know? Even if it's just something that lays over the couch and everybody lays on, including the dog and the cat. I really don't care. I just, I just would, would like it to be used, so. Just don't put it under your car to change your oil. <laughs> okay, so that was what? Uh, we'll count. We'll count. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. Mm -hmm. Was he sneezing in the camera again? <laughs> Poor pa, I know. I almost said to him he didn't have to go on. <laughs> didn't have to be on the pop cam. But then you guys would have asked when we just got it back. And then it would have been, well, Pop's got allergies. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's make a few more and then we'll do a count and see how many more we have to make. Okay. I'm gonna have to fill up this bobbin because I don't think I made another one. No, I did it. Oh, snaggle buggins. Doo doo doo. If you guys like any homemade crafts and stuff like that, Robin from RS Island Crafts has a little clear out of toques, and, well, knitted hats, we call them toques up here, um, and stuff like that. Check it out, she's got some really super adorable stuff. She's got a little video, so I'm assuming that may, helps link you to where you can go to purchase said little lovely items. And uh, you know, check out, you never know. You never know, might find some you love. She's got super cute little hats. Oh, you're welcome, Robin. <laughs> you betcha, baby. I know, isn't it? Totally cute. Totally cute. I made the the fox, the fox cowl, uh, and the panda. Uh, I made the fox cowl for my niece, but my sister-in-law ended up wearing it because she said she liked it, and the, my niece didn't like things around her face. But maybe she'll get you know used to things and, and end up wearing it eventually. And then the panda I made for Munchkin for Christmas. I really like that. I thought it was fun because the cowl, it, the cowly part, stuck down low enough that you can actually tuck it in your jacket. And you didn't get any snow or air down in between your jacket and your and and like you didn't have to wear a hat and a scarf. It kind of acted as that. So, but they take they take a while. They're not uh, you know just something that gets gripped up in ten minutes. We're talking hours and hours of uh, work and, and and labor on them, right? So, hello, Lucy. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 
Let's do another one of these light ones here. I had an owl uh, with big eyes, and it was actually, I made, well, I, I didn't make it, but I had it made for me, sorry, specifically, because I, I picked colors and stuff, and, and she custom made it for me, because I was, I had one done for my uh, young, uh, the youngest niece at the time, a cute little one, because she was, you know, it was going to be her first, you know, winter, she had to have a hat, for sure, um, so I'm sure it doesn't fit her now, and uh, a couple little stylish ones, like a newsboy hat, oh, it's got a little cut in there, what was the package? All right, moving on. Um, uh, so, uh, anyways, and I don't know where it went. It's disappeared. I was trying to look because it, I like it because the little flaps came down over my ears uh, to help keep the air, the wind out, and um, and it somehow disappeared. I know I sent it down to the dungeon to get washed, <laughs> and I don't think it ever made a bag up. <laughs> it's been a bad hat stuck there. Uh -huh. Oh, not too much. Just putting some blocks together. I realize I, I need 32 more of these beautiful blocks to finish off this quilt to be 100 by 100. I've already added uh, the other uh, five five rows of two to add to make this because it was eight across last week and I realized it didn't look big enough so added two more. Uh, I just actually have to sew the little strip on and then that gives us uh, five rows of 10 blocks in a row so 50 blocks and then we need 50 blocks more to square it up and uh, we'll go from there. All right, see what, how, what kind of mess I've made here. First time see how many more we need to make so one, two, Three. Hold on. Come on. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So six more. Okay. So ten. And then if we go, that's one. That's two. That's three. That's four. Okay, just a few more. Four. And then that would be half a five. This would make a full five. If that's making any sense to you people, it is to me. <laughs> and then need to plan one more and then that makes the six. Let's use the beans. I like the beans. The green beans are cute beans. Okay. Sheds, in, yes, they are. Are They are two different things. Yes, they are. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, you're gonna beep at me. I'll have to fill up a bobbin. Sorry. All right, now. Let's pick the last two greens in here. Let's do, let's do, let's do, let's do, not that, uh, let's like that one. And this one, there we go, do this one and this one. Okay, and then we'll finish those and we'll do the 16 blues and then slice them up, sew them together and then that's my last blocks needed to put this together. Okay. Okay, here I'll do two. Do, do, do. Mm-hmm. Aren't the green beans cute? Yes, I know. It's so adorable. Actually it was part of a wedding quilt. Uh the um bride and groom are you know, very earthy people. And they had asked for uh, fabric for their wedding and for everybody to bring a piece of green fabric. So some showed up with beans, some showed up with peppers, and some showed up with flowers and whatever. It's all sorts of greens. And in the end, it looked beautiful. It really, really did. Sometimes you wouldn't think so much with all the mix of greens, but it really did. It was quite pretty. Up, 
sorry to be mean to people. I'm, I'm confused. What did I miss? Ow. Hopefully nobody's being mean to anybody here. Sorry, honey? All good? Okay. Don't make me put my angry face on. You will not like it. It is not at all pretty. <laughs> That's pop. Got like flame shooting out of my eyeballs. I got angry. Okay. All right. Need to fill up a bobbin. Need to fill up the bobbin. Sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Wrap around, wrap around, and cut and flip and swish. Cut and flip and swish. Yeah, it's sad that they have, um, they've never been um, rewarded with love and attention, and they always have to get negative attention, some of them, eh? Kathy, scrap piles do not get smaller. Some else somewhere, keep them replaced. <laughs> I'm with you there, Gwenny. I'm with you there. <laughs> Hello, Hilda. How are you? Happy you're here? Okay, okay, Teresa. I got a little confused. Hello, Bev. Uh, would you ever do... Of course I would. In fact, I think one of my fall table runners was pumpkin, pumpkin squash fabric and then there was tomatoes and corn and I made a, a fall wall, uh, table runner out of it with all the vegetables yeah <laughs> they were bright colors I thought it was pretty so I, why not they were fall colors to me mm -hmm. I know I missed him too I missed him on there Gipsy's all sniffy in the back though <laughs> But it's, 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 he just can't breathe, and you know, trying to sleep beside him, and I'm, you know, snoring away, and he's just looking at me, trying to smother me with the pillow. Okay, he's <laughs> like, "Why can't you sleep?" <laughs> I wish he could. Make sure these don't have any matchy matchy fabrics in them, and we're good to go. Awesome! What kind of hobo bag are you working on there, Miss Vicky? Mm -hmm. Oh, make a Dresden blade turkey runner. Oh, there you go. That would be cute. Little feathers, does the Dresden blades? That's adorable. You could do that with a lot of colors. Oh, baby quilt. Very good. Yep. That's hard sometimes, and people just don't don't know, you know, because you see they want to match the room, but they don't want to match the room because it's not always going to be the colors of the baby's room, you know, so they are going to outgrow it. That's why I have a tendency to, if I'm doing a baby quilt, I try to do it a little, so it's a, it fits them even when they're bigger, like even, like, I don't know, eight and under, you know what I mean? So it'll, it'll be with them for a, a substantial period of time before hopefully it gets, you know, retired to the keepsake pile. You know, I, I would hope to think that's where most of the ones I have I have done have, have gone for this, the people I've made them for, so. All right, so we should have 16 here. We will do a double check and give them all a press, okay? And then we'll do our 16 blues, okay? So let's just, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Did I miscount? I'm brain farting here. Okay, well, maybe I have to make another one. Well, let's press. And press and double count. How's that? Because maybe I don't know how to count which has been proven once before, <laughs> at least, if not more. Two. Three. 
two, four, Seven. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. I guess so. There we go. All right. Well, we need the blues and a mod. Then there we go. Okay. Now let's cut those. Let's cut those now. Make sure they're all going in the right direction. None of this weird stuff going on. Making sure, yes, yes. And then from corner to corner, make sure you pressed it nice and squarish. squaresy ish okay. So we'll go there. Making sure my straight long piece is right up at the top to making sure I'm cutting them all the same way. If you start cutting them this way, then you're not, you're gonna have a different, you're gonna have a different uh, piecing like the, the one I was showing you with the blue and the green, okay. But figure out what you like. You know, that's where you make a couple of practice pieces and, and you go and, okay, well, I don't like that and I do like this. You know, or I like this for maybe another project. But, you know, I think I could see Christmas colors being that way with the one with the little box in the center, almost like it was looking like a little Christmas present, you know, stacked on top of a Christmas present, that sort of thing. I don't think that would be cute, but. <laughs> I'm sure there's many other ideas for for um, that style, so. But the, I just like the one that I the angled and matching up, sort of. Yikes, it's horrible. Gash through your finger. Yikes. There we go, almost there. And then we get to do the 16 blue. Scooby Dooby Doo, 16 blue. Sounds like we're playing bingo. <laughs> Under the bee, 16 blue. Under the B, 16, blue. Mm -hmm. uh, what are we talking about? Nothing's going to affect our live shows. What am I, what's going on? I'm confusal. Which doesn't take much. Couple more. Oh, my shelter. I like the different mix of greens. Like the ones you just kind of just randomly, you're not even really even thinking about it. You're just grabbing it, making sure it's still going to complement the pile, you know, and just go for it. You know, in a way, if it doesn't even complement the pile, it will eventually, with all the collage of all the colors, it'll all pull itself together. When it doesn't, then. Oh well. <laughs> okay, all right, those are all the greens we need. Now we need to make blues. Okay, let's try and pull out some of these greens so that I don't have to deal with them. Because okay, there shouldn't be a whole lot left in here, but there is a few. Do, do, do. Do, do, do. And then it's just blue, 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 blue. 
That's green, that's green, let's go green. Uh. Yes, I can't believe summer in the school aspect of it is almost over. Which is very, very sad, just going by way too fast. I barely even got a quarter of the stuff I wanted to get done. Sad. <laughs> That was green, wasn't it? All right, okay, we get to go sewing. All right, 16 blue. 16 blue. Okay, that's not blue. Okay, all righty, I think we got most of them. If I have to cut some, I'll cut some. I got some more blues in there. I can work it. Uh, root beer float, yummy. <laughs> I'd take that, I like root beer floats. Dresdens are fun, they really are. <laughs> Pop could grow a beard in a weekend. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> he's, got, he's got pictures of it down to here, and it's all red and a little bit of gray in it. Yeah, well, I used to braid it. I used to braid it, put some beads in. <laughs> You'd always be like, no, leave it alone. I'm like, no, let me braid it. <laughs> but it doesn't take long. I'm just going to put a bunch of two and twos together and then we'll count. <laughs> yeah, our, our youngest niece calls him Uncle Nomi. <laughs> but that is all to her mother's encouraging, that's for sure. Pop sister. <laughs> She's just that way. <laughs> ZZ Pop. <laughs> Very cute. Adorable. <laughs> ZZ Pop. <laughs> I like Uncle Nomi too. I thought it was really cute. I was like, oh. <laughs> Well, the funny thing is, in a couple of years, Pop could probably be Santa Claus and Munchkin could be Kris Kringle because he's got the same, but he's got auburn and red, really red beard. He's got the auburn uh, top head from me, but he gets the, the lighter auburn -y, uh, red color and uh, strawberry blonde, uh, yeah, auburn -y red color from, uh, from both of us, really. So he could be Kris Kringle and Pop could be Santa Claus. <laughs> Hello, Libby. Happy you're here. Working on some green and blue. Washing machine naming quilts. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? So that's one, that's two, that's three. Do, do, do. <laughs> This will be four. Well, that is not eight and a half. No way, Jose. No, that's only seven and a quarter. Is that eight and a half? There we go. <coughs> oh, vines and leaves around that bitch. That's really pretty. 
the K takes such an effort. Make sure everybody's in the pool together sort of thing. Four. Okay, that's four. <coughs> mm -hmm. <coughs> Sorry, got <a> tickle. <coughs> <coughs> I have something to drink, but I'm not sure sometimes if that helps or not. <coughs> I get, I guess I just get a little bit of the, you know, coffees. You know, sorry thing, I guess with allergy. <coughs> I think the air conditioner just kicked on. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't stop because it's cool. That's my break time. <laughs> I go to crossing guard for break time. That's where I get to work on my tan, get my fresh air, talk to the peoples. Hang out with some kids. <laughs> some are little troublemakers, but that's okay. <laughs> Life is short. You gotta enjoy it. And I got things to do. Place to go, people to see, you know, things to make. Ideas to, you know, implement. You're not here for a long time. You're just here for a good time. <clears throat> so enjoy every single moment. <coughs> Sorry. love some of these blues. They're so gonna be so pretty. Hopefully my sister Lisa loves it. <coughs> I've certainly had a fun, <coughs> fun time putting it together. And I think it looks pretty. So you guys have said it looks pretty. So hopefully she thinks it looks pretty. Actually, I just noticed she joined, uh, she asked to join the Mama Pop Mafia group. <laughs> I said to Pop, is that my sister? He's like, yes. I went, interesting. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know whether she watched the show or not, you know. That's, the, that's her choice, right? So that's my eldest sister. I have another sister who's just a little bit older than me. I was very proud, actually. I was like, mm, she wants to watch her nutty sister, uh, you know, sew with people. <laughs> now I'm like, now I have to make sure I don't post anything that's, you know, a surprise for her in there. <laughs> I just won't see. But I'm glad she's there. I really am. It's nice to have... Uh, family, you know, positivity uh, on your side, you know. What are we talking about, Anna? Actually, I do get called lollipop lady. <laughs> That's what they call them in the UK for sure. Um, I do get called lollipop lady sometimes. Some of the kids call me lollipop lady. I think it's kind of funny. 
All right, so we'll put two more together and we'll see where we are and if we have to cut any more of these blues. Some bluesy, bluesy blues. Uh, yeah, sometimes chewing gum does. I think I, I, it's actually in my, my bike in its side bag is where the gum is. That's the last time I had it. It's out riding a bike. So anyway, sometimes it's just a tickle and it goes away. It's just, a, it just tries to be annoying and is successful at being annoying and then goes away. All right, let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on here. Let's see what we got going on here besides a big old mess. All right, so let's put some of these together and we'll count them out because we need 16. Scooby dooby dooby doo, we need 16. Okay, so that's one. Two. Be four, right? One, two, three. Yep. So be four. This will be six. When school starts to go back in, there's a good time to go and stock up on supplies for some of the extra stuff that you need in your your you know your studio and your or in your sewing area, right? Like the washable markers and pencil crayons and stuff like that. Be able to sometimes color out ideas, grid workbooks, lined paper. You know, some of us are very old-fashioned, like to jot ideas down on paper instead of you know trying to text them all out. Seven. And glue, yeah, and binders and duotangs and all the plastic wrappers and stuff. So this one's eight, right? I think this one's right here is eight. Ten, 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 ten. This would be eleven. Eleven. Eleven and a half. Okay, so just a few more to go. We should be able to be fine without having to cut any. I think we'll be okay. We just need a couple extras, right? So. 
This will be half a 12. So if we do this and this, this will be 12. Well, we may have to. Hmm. We'll see. We'll see. Oh, right. That doesn't look like eight and a half. That's because it's not. Is this one eight and a half? I did some of them get in at eight and a half and some of them didn't. Jeepers creepers. Who's done the cutting around here? <laughs> Make it very confusing for this piece here. Be 12. 12, 12, 12. Okay, 12. Let's go. Yeah, I think we might actually. I don't think there's enough here. There's not. There's not enough. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, cut a bit. Okay, so that would make this one there. Okay, so that's one. So that'd be 13. Fourteen. Fifteen. Oh, just one block shy. Oh, okay, that's all right. Just need to cut four little strips. We got this. Cut more green than they did on blue. Okay, so what do we got here that we can use? Oh, I like that. So let's do two of those. And what else we got in the magic bucket? Magic bucket, the magic bucket. That is not two and a half. Hmm. Oh, let's do some birdies. I think we only got two of these birdies in there. There are no birdies in there. There we go. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Kind of snuck. Snuck up. Okay, so we need a couple more pieces. Hmm. That's gray. We don't need the gray. There. And... Uh, nope, there's not enough of that. Not enough of that either. Mm, not enough of that either. Oh, 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 oh. There we go. We may have a bit of this. There we go. That'll work. Need some press and love here first. Okay. Okay. There we go. So grab a couple different pieces. And we'll just make one more, because we only need one more, right? One more set. Okay. Okay, so that's two and a half. Need an eight and a half. Okay, so, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a half. Okay, and then one more. Six, seven, eight, and a half. Okay, there we go. We should be the last built out here, except for I think this needs to be cut and this one needs to be cut. 
course, and we can mix and match to the ones I just already put up there, you know, so with these ones. Okay, so here, so six, seven, eight and a half. There we go, so that's that one together and these ones together. Okay, alrighty, woohoo, we're almost there at the light of the rainbow. What is a strip stick? I don't know, Vanessa, please explain. Please tell us a story. <laughs> yes, and when you do, you get your name up there. And a big thank you from us. When you get videos early and next extra video every month. Which we'll be working on that this week uh, due to the computer crashing. Of course, that was a uh, major system malfunction, and we are trying to catch up. We did do the block of the month, and now we will do the Patreon video. So that'll probably be out on Tuesday. <laughs> it's hard to tell them that was so light blue. Thank you very much, Pat. Greatly appreciated. Every little bit counts. Finish off these last few little blue blocks that we got to do. <clears throat> and then we'll press them all and cut them. But then we'll do the uh, world quilt, okay? We'll work on that a little bit. So get the last blocks that are in the bucket and hopefully more come this week. So, uh, but yeah, it's very, it's so exciting. My goodness, added another row on the other day. For everybody who's, I've had their names embroidered up already and I did find the ones that were missing a few. I had their names, but not their addresses. So I did manage to find that in my envelope collection. So thank goodness for that. We do have one mystery one. It has lost its tag somewhere along the way. So if it is yours, I'm terribly sorry. It, it did get, I don't know how it lost it. I don't know when it lost it. But uh, we just, it's one block and it's so cute and adorable. I'd really like to know who made it so I can give it credit. So we will, we will show it though, okay? All right, where are we here? Oh, these guys. There. All right, let's put this over here. Make our last few blocks, get them pressed and cut. Mm -hmm. mm, yuck, Diane. What? Oh, Diane, sorry. 103, whoa, wow, you cooking. <laughs> Fried eggs on the sidewalk, man, that's what's for dinner. Don't mind the grit, it's just fiber. Holy moly, that's crazy. Vitamin M. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could eat M&M's. They're made in a peanut facility, so I can't eat them. Um, I used to be able to eat Smarties, which is a kind of Canadian sort of version of it. And, um, but uh, they also um, started manufacturing them in a peanut uh, facility, so I can't have them anymore either. Oh, well, oh. Okay, that should be our 16. Okay, let's just, we'll do a double count as we are pressing. Okay, and we will go from there. 
And if we need to make another one, we will cut enough from the bucket to do another one. Okay, is that it? That's it, all right, so we have a press. All right, let's move this off down here. Ooh, flops, flopsy wopsies. Okay, move those down off there too. Move the taco hat down. And let's press these guys out here. Okay. Well, the blues are just as pretty as the greens. And you, if you like the strips, you don't have to cut them. You can just sew a block of green and a block of blue next to each other, and I'm sure it'll look just as beautiful. Maybe more so because it's not so chopped up and weird looking. <laughs> ah, you never know. It should be six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yep. There we go. Seven. Eight. Eleven. Twelve. <clears throat> Thirteen. Fourteen. I think we're okay. We're good. Fifteen and sixteen. Yep. Awesome. There we go. Yay! That's all the blocks needed. Whoop, whoop. Okay. Now let's cut them all in the same way. <clears throat> Debbie from Harlingen, Texas. Harlingen. Sounds like it should be some like Dallas soap opera show. <laughs> Harlingen, Texas. Tonight on Harlingen, Texas. Close to Houston? Yes, you are. Okay, and I'm making sure I'm cutting them all the same way to get the angled pieces that I've got going on in the quilt. If you wanted them to be different, then you're gonna have to cut on the opposite side. Okay. Fourteen and cloudy with a chance of rain. Well, I think you need it though, don't you, Sammy? Halloween. I love Halloween. We go all out. We have good fun, that's for sure. Reds up my nose or something. My goodness, it's just itchy. Silly nose. <clears throat> Quilt retreat? I don't know. Actually, Pop mentioned it last year and I said nobody would come. Because <laughs> he said, oh, you know, we could take a, the, you know, the 
what is it, the Best Western in Orangeville, and they've got a couple of rooms there, and so on and so forth, and, you know, uh, I, we could, I could still come home, because it's not very far from where I live, so, but Pop did say something about it last year, but I don't know. I don't know. All right, now, there we go, one more. Okay, and then I know I gotta sew all these together, and I will, and got five more rows to build out, and I will, and these will have to get flippity floppied somehow. They'll get mixed up, I'll make sure they get all mixed up. Okay, that is gonna keep me out of trouble for a while. Okay, there we go. Now we'll do some worldy quilts. Mm-hmm. Okay, that was Sharon's. It didn't get on the because it was I filled up a list. This was the mystery one. So whoever's block this is, please tell me. Hopefully you're in the chat. If not, send us a message. It's adorable and I love it. And for some reason, your paperwork went missing. And I'm sorry. It's really cute. And I love it how it just kind of pops up. It's very three-dimensional. I know, it's a beautiful block, and I feel really bad that the paper went, went, went missing. I think it just the pin fell out or something, so. I know, the adorable, has got everything. It's got a little eye spy thing, you know, that'd make a fantastic eye spy quilt. Yeah. Whoa. I know, so if it's yours, let me know. Okay, so we have a few blocks today. Here we go here. Oh, there we go, we're all there. And I got my little strips on the bottom here. Okay, do, 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 do. This one here is, this is my square. Is it? it? Oh, I'm so sorry your paperwork went missing. I feel so bad. In fact, hold on, I had a paper, piece of paper. I must have folded it already. What did I do with it? Oh, good gravy. Okay, hold on. I'll get you down, I'll get you down. Don't you worry, I'll get you down. Is that where it went? No, but that'll do. Thank you, thank you, Chris. I'm so sorry. I in, okay, Martin. And you're... Minnesota, thank you so much. <clears throat> sorry about that. Really, really am sorry. Quick, that's your block. <laughs> thank you, Chris. <laughs> oh, Mr. Clive. <laughs> Pop just tossed him on here. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> he was meowing, he was looking for some love. Hey? <laughs> Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Mommy, mommy only gives me loving when I'm on camera. <laughs> there you go. Go, 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 go. So thank you very much. There's a beautiful, look, there's a kitty on there. There's a kitty guy right there. <laughs> he is sometimes, he's taking very luxurious pleasures of being on the table though. Come on, off. Come on, over here. There we go, come on. There you go. All right, so we're gonna put your little gray part on the bottom and then the white on the side. <laughs> he appreciates the hello, everybody. Cause good buddy. You gonna keep my puddle, my pedal company? No? <laughs> yeah, we got a, just a handful, just a handful of blocks to go through today. And hopefully we have some more for next weekend. Cause that would be awesome. It's beautiful. So cute. I love it. This is so ice spyish. Mm. There we go. Oh, did I put that on the wrong side? I guess it was directional, wasn't it? It was. Whoopsies. My bad. Hold on. I stuck it on the wrong side. It's because I put the clip at the, t I thought was the top and clearly it was not, so. Whoops, 
There it is. We got a seam ripper moment. We have a seam ripper moment. We won't panic. We just deal with it. It's a seam ripper moment. Yes, it does. Nomi is pretty handy dandy. All right. Let's just whip these out here. Whoopsie, sorry, I put them on the wrong side. I should have looked before I sewed it on. My error. Mm -hmm. Do to do, do. Hello, Terry. Happy you're here. We're just working on the world quilt blocks right now. This is the last that I have in the shop at the moment. I'm hoping more in the mailbox. Um, very much so. So. Uh, and if you would like to contribute and, and add to the world quilt, then by golly, please do. Nine and a half by nine and a half of something that you like, represents you or what you like to do or where you live or your hobbies, whatever, whatever, whatever. It is, I, you know what? It is in the bag I took away with me to go uh, away for four days. Uh, yeah, uh, four days. I was away four days. Um, so I didn't take it out of the bag, actually. It has the uh, wedding ring quilt in it that I was hand-stitching the binding on, or was going to if I had time, but I didn't have any time. So, And unfortunately, the seam ripper is still in the bag. Because I haven't needed to use one until right now. Snaggle bottoms. Mm -hmm. Oh, the world quilt is beautiful. Uh, so, so beautiful. It's going to be a big one. It's going to be a big one. All right. Okay, there we go. Now, put it on the right side, silly Manili. All right, there we go. Take two. Let's flip that there. And right here. Beautiful. Uh, so far we have, hold on, uh, seven across and seven now. We have 49 on the quilt right now. And we have like, uh, I think five or six here, uh, or maybe even seven uh, um, blocks to add. So we're, I guess we're looking at 56 so far. So 56, 55, 56. I feel very honored. I really do. Thank you, Chris, for your beautiful block. Thank you, thank you. I'm very sorry you lost your tag. Oh, okay, hold on. Sorry, honey. There we go. There we go. Thank you very much. Okay, we'll put that there and I'll get a press. And this one is from Wanda. Make sure to open up the card the right way. I tell you, I had Pop and I laughing. Well, she made this card too. Uh, it's got a little house, but you would think you would open up this way, but no, 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 it's a this way. <laughs> it has giggle. Uh, Wanda from Stephenville or Stevensville, uh, Newfoundland. And she said, there's a little tiny red dot. Maybe Pop can pull up the small cam for a second there. I can point to where she is on the island of Newfoundland and that this is the top. This is the top of the island. And she is right there. Is tiny wee little red dot hold on move it over so you can see do 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 tiny wee that's where she is the tiny little wee red dot so thanks wanda i know where you are <laughs> yeah and that's the top the big the i most of the island points upwards and this will go on the bottom and you're on the other side beverly well there we go i'll have to make a note of that <laughs> All blocks are beautiful. What are you doing under there? You causing a ruckus? Hmm? Mr. Clive. Causing a ruckus, Mr. Clive. When is he not? Oh, was it the bell? 
So much. Oh, yeah, was the bell? <laughs> it was the bell that got his attention. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Do -do -do. It's beautiful. Love it. Absolutely love it. And that's what I mean. It, it, uh, something is just just like that. Little space pointing where you're out in the space is fantastic. You know, then I know he is. And if I want to come visit, I know where I got to go. All right, here we go. I think I put all my clips in here. I think I did. Thank you. And I, I kept the pin in there to make sure I had it upright the whole time. So there, oh, here we go. There we go. Thank you. Oh, keepers, honey, you're all over the place. There we go. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> I'm, I'm keeping up here. I'm straight in front now. I'm not going to the side. <laughs> There we go. That's it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Wanda. <laughs> All right, and this one is from Terry Nolka from Maywood, M Missouri. M-O, is that Missouri? M-O is Missouri. I'm assuming so, M-O is Missouri. Isn't this beautiful? Oh, sorry, I should have showed you first. Silly me. There we go, isn't it beautiful? <laughs> Oh, pop cam disappeared. Why? <laughs> Why did the pop cam disappear? Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Finally, I just watched that. Uh, uh, what is it, Damon Williams? We seem to communicate. <laughs> it's funny. It's a beautiful block. It's got really pretty little flowery print to it between the pink and the like multicolored with the pink and red. And it's got a bit of blue and yellow in it. It's quite lovely. Thank you, Terry. Doo -doo -doo. It's a lovely. It's a lovely. Like the little pop of color. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like, tag, you're it. <laughs> yes, thank you. thank you very much, Terry. Isn't that lovely? It's beautiful. Love it. Very cute. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Put that there. And of course, they get their name embroidered on it. This one is, I think it's Corrine, if I remember correctly. I have to take a little, yep, yeah, Corrine. Uh, Craner, Crane, Cranick from Gimli, Manitoba. And it is the cutest cat. Oh my gosh, it's adorable. And this is all hand stitched. That's all hand stitched in there. The whiskers and the eyes and the nose is all hand stitched. Beautiful work. Absolutely, and the colors are so cute with the pink swirls and the hearts. Love it. Love, love, love it. I know, so cute. So adorable. So adorable. Okay, and the little strip on the side. It is a cute cat, isn't it? Very cute. Actually, reminds me of my neighbor's cat. Uh, what do they call it, Sweet Pea? They call it the Sweet Pea. But it's white, so. <laughs> well, that's what sweet peas are white. Silly. There we go. Thank you very much, Corrine. Corrine, there we go. Oh. <laughs> got you now, Pop. I got you. Uh. <laughs> 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 oh, we're gonna laugh about this later. <laughs> Chasing the camera around. <laughs> Thank you very much <laughs> for your lovely and adorable cat block and your lovely words. Thank you very, very much. <laughs> it's always a gong show going on around here, I tell you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this is a lovely. Thank you very, very much. And this one, 
This one is from Claire. Uh, Perrier, per, Perrera, how do you say your last name? You're gonna have to spell it out or, not obviously, gonna, I could see it, but you know what I mean. Isn't it cute? And the backs is so tiny and precise. I wish you could see that. I really, I really wish you could, because that is a work of art in itself. Small camera, okay, there we go. Here we go, you gotta see the back of this. I'll, I'll flip it to the front after Pop gets in the small camera. Uh, but look, look how tiny and precise that is. Pereira. Okay, thank you. There we go. Thank you very much, Claire. Is that beautiful? Is that just a stunner? I love that purple. Beautiful. I know. I know. If she ever comes up to Canada, she's going to teach a class. <laughs> Aren't you, Claire? <laughs> Aren't you, Claire? <laughs> All right. Put a beautiful gray along the bottom. <laughs> I know, isn't it lovely? It's so pretty. And those two colors together, so it almost seems a little bit romantic, you know what I mean? Because it's not such a white, it's like that little creamy color. It's a little bit softer tone. Yeah, I love it. Love it. And it's got such, both of them have little patterns to it. Like it's got little, uh, I think it looks like maybe a flower or something in the white with little white stitching. It's cream with white stitching. And then on the purple, it's purple and purple with little, like little feathery drops or water drops or like even like a paisley or sort of thing like that. It's very pretty. It's a lot of movement in the little block. There we go. I know, there is a heck of a lot of talent in this group. There we go, beautiful. I don't have the patience either too, Diane57. <laughs> Someone's gonna lose an eyeball, man, let me tell you. <laughs> there we go, thank you, Claire, it's beautiful. Love it so much. It's absolutely love it. And the tiny little sashing in between those blocks. Oh. All right, and this one is not the last or the least, let me tell you. This is from da, 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 Caroline Fletcher from L Lower Pilsley, Chesterfield, Derbyshire, England. Okay. Uh, da, 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 da. Uh, she grew up in the county of Nottinghamshire, county of Robin Hood. Yeah, you name it. Boo, bows and arrow and everything. And therefore, stitched the major oak which is the oldest approximately 1,000 years old tree in Sherwood Forest and reputed to be have hidden Robin Hood himself. Isn't that beautiful? I know, the greens. And it adds so much texture with the little circles and then in some of those circles are flowers and then on the outside are some flowers. It's beautiful, it's a beautiful piece. Question is, which way is it gonna go? This way or this way? So we're gonna go A or B. What's it gonna be? Let's see. <laughs> oh, pop. <laughs> eh? What are you doing? You want more time? <laughs> like, be like the corn? Okay, that was pointing this way. Okay, so this way, right? <laughs> I think it was, wasn't it? Yeah, it was pointing towards the inside of the... Oh, no, that was this way. It's pointing in there. No, it wasn't. Depending what side I put it on. Pardon? Okay, all right. Here we go, corn down. <laughs> Opposite the corn? That's kind of what I was thinking there, Claire. Eh, I don't know. Uh, just like I'm, okay, well, I'll put it this way. There we go. Da da da. Oh, I have to trim it up a wee bit. Oh, oh hold on. Need to trim it up a wee bit. Just a smidgey smidge. Shouldn't be too much. Let's see if we can get the average on both sides here. Let's get my bucket out of the way. And of course we got Sharon's cute little tea. That was from last week, but I did get her name on it and stuff. So, but she didn't, uh, there, I was just, I ran out of a uh, uh, place to put it on the wall. So, cause I needed to get another row going. Okay, we need nine and a half, so let's move this a wee bit over here and a wee bit over there to give me the nine and a halfers I'm looking for. 
Do, do it opposite? Yeah? Is that the verdict? Okay, so a little off each side. Let's go make sure it's this way as well. Oh, just a wee bittens. Just a wee wee bittens, that's all it needs is a wee bittens. Okay. All right, all right, just a ways. Okay, so if the corn's going this way, it's going this way. There we go, done deal. Sorted, we got it all sorted. Thank you very much, Caroline, for your lovely block and the little history that went with it too. That was fantastic. I feel totally treasured by everybody and their artwork and their time and the effort they took to do a block up and mail it off our way and have the patience to, you know, give me a chance to get it to put together. So, really, really appreciate it. You guys are really lovely. Couldn't have picked a better group of people to hang out with, that's for sure. All right, give these a little press. <laughs> There we go. Is that lovely? Sorry. Beautiful. <laughs> well, exactly. It'll look good no matter which way it goes, right? Okay, so uh, I try to press these after I get their names stitched on because then I'm not I'm melting any clips or anything like that. So thank you, everybody, for partaking in this. And uh, we're not done yet. If you want to send it in, please send it in. Happy to take your, your block and uh, contribute it to the world quilt itself. So have yourselves a fantastic week. And we will see you on, well, if you're a part of Patreon, we'll see you on Patreon. And other than that, we'll see you on Long Arm Wednesday. Okay, not sure what we're doing, but Mr. Clive has not done his time, apparently. Come here. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right. Ooh, ooh, ooh. No, no, no. Here we go. Hey, say bye, everybody. Laters. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.